Hey guys, welcome to Lonely Moon's very first video. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is the first episode of a series called Black Box. It's a mini documentary catered towards you guys who's looking to start something or trying to follow your passion and you just don't know where to start or you're having some sort of difficulties in doing so. This episode featured Moshi Moss, an upcoming clothing brand started with three friends sitting in a park. They had an idea and they immediately executed it. So I hope these videos help you in any way possible, even though you placed a little tiny part in there. So that'll be all for me and I hope you have a great day and always stay hungry. It was around August 2017. Yeah. We were sitting at the playground discussing about what we want to do like our desire and then you had mentioned your desires one of them was to open an online fashion brand mm -hmm. and then Mary and me thought yeah, why, why don't we make it happen yeah and then like we start thinking about name because like name is the first thing that we have to come up so like it was like throwing out a lot of ideas yeah, about it yeah. took us so many days yeah. okay which name is student and we still can't figure it out and then suddenly there's a guy like picking up the phone and then he's saying moshi moshi and then we That's feel like hey good. why not moshi moshi is something like catchy yeah. then we decide to take this name this is how moshi moshi starts <laughs> our first group target was Cambodian market because we saw that the need is high but mm -hmm. the product they don't have many t-shirt brands in Cambodia so we think it is a good start to start from Cambodia yeah and what's good about us is that we make unisex t-shirts so everyone can wear it like from adults seniors and like teens everyone can wear it and it's simple like minimalist so uh, people like minimal like they don't want something too messy on their t-shirt yeah and you can always style it up yeah with anything yeah mm -hmm. Casual, basic, yeah. yeah. And like for the future, we also want to make it like more worldwide. Like for now, we have only in Cambodia, Thailand, India, but later on, we want to sell it worldwide. So I think it's possible because like right now, we can sell everything online, right? So it's easy. So one of our first problems was when we had our first orders. So um, there were too many orders yeah. all at once. So in order to actually go to each one of them, we had to divide ourselves to at least a few customers. Yes. And the other problem is the, um, the printing quality. Like it's come out like not match our expectation. For example, this like it's red but at first when we print it it look a bit pink so like we don't want it like that because we designed it in the computer it's, it is red and we want it to come out red and sometimes the size wise like in the computer it look okay but when we print out it look bigger than what we want so we have to change it time by time you yeah. have to redo it yeah. yeah and another problem that we face is about the website we want people to use website to buy our product mm. but they text us by our Facebook and Instagram they keep ordering by that social media more than using our website so we think that we try to adapt to that customer behavior it's a good point too because like when people talk to us they feel like more trustful than they yeah. do from website because they want to know more about size about everything like color and stuff so it's good if they can talk to us directly that's why people like in Cambodia they like to use Facebook and Instagram to buy things than, rather than website we got inspiration from everywhere like even the book we read, even abstract arts, even like 
fashion, Pinterest. Even the memory. randomest things? Yeah. I mean, there are so many ideas we can see. Mm -hmm. Wherever we go, wherever we walk. Yeah, but we cannot use everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to narrow down and then pick the best one, what we all agree with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we decide to like uh, pick some of the good quotes and then pick some of the nice graphics and then make it different. Even sometimes we see like dog on the road and then we also take it to put it in our collection as well. Yeah. There are times that we are about to give up, but we need to think like, why do we even start it? Yeah. We like we spend so much time on it. Like, and I ask myself that, is it worth it to just continue this? Because we know that it's not going to make us so much profit right now. But then uh, time passed, like one more month later, thing is going well. And customers keep giving us good feedbacks. And they said they like our product. So they, they make us feel that we should continue this. And we, we will make this even better than now. We want to include more products, like even bag and shoes. And many more things that we can that we can make for them.